charging equipment and uh, you can see the lead supplied by Mitsubishi which plugs in to the car on this side and obviously goes into your, your socket. It's not advisable to use an extension lead but for our purposes we've had to but this is a 13 amp extension lead. The wires are thick. It is also important to actually unroll it because you get a lot of heat generated when it's charging. No false floor here. What you see is what you get under this right. black cover is where the electric motor is housed. Yeah. And these are rear seat rests. There are two levers. And my thumb is over one of them on this side. Man, and this costs just under £24,000, which is actually more than a 318i BMW. You'll think that some materials will be a bit uh, better. The, the Valcro, for example, is, is, is crude. The seats, backs, are very thin. Two inches width. A lot of sponge on the corner. Further evidence of cheap materials is found on the door insert here, which is entirely hard plastic. This door pull looks like something I've seen on a child's toy. Now the body of our IMF was actually based on a I mini car that Mitsubishi produced between 2005 to 2007. That car had a 660cc engine which was inserted where the electric motor is on this model. Now that car when it was launched would have cost around £7,000. Our electric car costs just short of £29,000. So we're looking at £22,000 remainder. And it's not apparent that it's being spent on the materials that we've seen. I feel a bit short-changed, to be straight with you. This is a standard uh, charge lead that you get with the car that plugs into your socket. Leads the cap from the inside. Dust cap comes open. And insert it, press the orange, and that will hinge over. And your charging time should be around seven hours from low charge to full charge. There was a quick charge method which will give you an 80% charge in about half an hour. Now at present in the UK there are no quick charging points and certainly none at my local dealership in Manchester. But there is a downside and I will quote from the IMEF owner's handbook. Repeatedly performing early quick charging may reduce the battery capacity. In usual charge, normal charging is recommended. So essentially quick charging many times can actually damage the lithium ion batteries. Now there is a stack of lithium ion batteries in a container mounted beneath the car. You can see from here that that does impede the ground clearance. So you can't use it off-road and you've got to really be careful with high curbs and also speed bumps. So a £29,000 car that was based on a £7,000 car produced six years ago, which leaves around £22,000 spent on all the electric vehicle components, such as the, the battery and the motor. And those are guaranteed for five years or 62,000 miles. But and then what happens? 